Michael Rivera, I'm the chairman of the uh, Bill Power Island uh, Committee. You know, he said we got to have hope. Well, I have a lot of hope. I hope that I'm going to hit the lottery some week. But if I don't get off and go to the store and buy that ticket, I can have all the hope in the world, and it's not going to do anything for me because hope <coughs> is only an excuse for doing nothing, and I can point that. But I think that our candidates should put the word out that we're going to go, if elected, to Washington and represent the people of this country that makes this country work. The people that get up every morning and go to work and take care of their children and protect their family. That's what this party is about. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we have time for one last question. Go right here. Thank you. Michael Gardner, just a local Republican. Um, what do you think the personal benefit the Republican Party can sell and deliver on will be in the next election? Because even if we took Congress in the next election, given the circumstances, we're going to be hamstrung by tremendous debt. And uh, so what is the personal benefit that can be sold and delivered on? Well, if, I mean, if the question, uh, I would say this. I think that voters respond to ideas, to somebody who's, who they think is representing them. And I think in some ways, to be quite honest with you, the benefit is going to be somebody who will try to stop what is going on right now in D.C. Now, I wish I could say, you know, it was better. But like you said, we can't win the presidency and the House and the Senate all in one election. So I think at this point, quite honestly, what most voters want is a stop sign, um, and and now that's not an exciting idea. We need our own ideas about you know what we will do. But by the way, on health care reform, I mean we have to have our own health care reform ideas. We can't just say, oh, that's a Democrat issue, you know, as some sort of Republican strategist like to do that. that I mean, if, if we think that con, you know center right conservative Republican ideas work, then they, we should be able to apply them to every issue, from health care to everything else. So. I think that the biggest benefit to the consumer right now is that, hey, somebody's got to do something to get this mess under control and stop them from, you know, making it even worse. Um, I don't know if you have a thought on that, Jim, or not, but I think, you know, the other thing the Democrats are up against in D.C. right now, just so you, everyone gets the dynamic of what's going on, they are in shell shock in the White House right now because their view during the entire campaign was the big speech fixes everything, and so that's why when they're not doing good on health care, they do another, you know, fireside chat from the White House, and then, you know, they, they assume that a week from that, it'll be fixed. That doesn't work. Well, let's try a joint session. That'll work. Well, that doesn't work. You know, let's try, you know. So they just, they, they believe, they, they drank their own Kool-Aid and have become intoxicated with the idea that if their guy goes on TV, if he flies to Copenhagen, of course we're going to get the Olympics. I mean, so they're, they're really in a shell shock situation right now where they're finding out the difference between campaigning and governing. And, and that's, that's the only analysis you need to know about what's going on on that side right now. I guess what I'm saying. I just want to make one comment on the, uh, on the protest of Washington. Being in the Washington area and the number of you were down there, it was an incredible rally with uh, them, and who you, which news report you listened to, with, with anywhere from, from 20 or 30,000 to a couple hundred thousand people. But the, it's always been true all the way through the Vietnam War protests and all the other protests. The Republicans actually made a lousy protesters yeah. were too damn polite. Yeah. And the, uh, we are law abiding. And whether it was 25,000 or 200,000, you know how many arrests there were in the city of Washington? during that protest? Zero. If you can imagine any protest, that just shows you we're too damn polite. Next time, we've got to really make some more noise. <laughs> we did make some noise. They did have to move a couple of people out. But, but it's amazing. It's just not in our nature to uh, to, to get arrested or, or, or break the law. But we have really still get really ticked off. And we will move and throw the... Uh, Throw the Democrats out. Anyway, um, Kurt and Jimmy, thank you very, very much for being here.